Yes, indeed. We continue to bring you political reaction uh, to the power crisis this hour. That is our focus. We have spoken to the ANC, uh, refuting the claims of other parties that Latuli House is the scene of the crime. We've spoken to the EFF. Uh, the DA will also be with the watchdog a little bit later this evening. We're now joined by the Deputy President of the ACDP, Wayne Thring. Uh, Mr. Thring, thank you for your time. I'm interested, was the ACDP briefed at all? Apparently there was some briefing with some parties uh, where an idea of collective responsibility was put forward. Tell us about that and do you understand, in fact, why we are in the dark? Uh, well, firstly, thank you for having me. And yes, the ACDP was a part of the delegation that was briefed by the president. Um, our president, Reverend Dr. Kenneth Meshwe, attended the briefing. Uh, and was informed of some of the challenges that uh, South Africa faced. Um, but it was more of a briefing rather than the offering of solutions and finding collective solutions from other political parties. And I think that this is just speaks to the, the, the case of uh, the challenge that South Africa faces, that uh, under the ruling party, the, the ANC, uh, there is not a single entity, a state-owned entity, uh, that appears to be surviving. Uh, one can look at Transnet, one can look at uh, SAA, Donnell, uh, uh, to, to mention a few, uh, post, the post office, uh, and now also uh, Eskom. Um, and so clearly I think that the challenges that we have with Eskom and why we are in the dark uh, is purely because of mismanagement, incompetence, uh, poor decisions, structural issues, uh, and poor decisions taken by, by government. Uh, the ACDP has long been one of the political parties that has called for change, change in Eskom, um, has been a part of the uh, state capture uh, saga where we've also called for uh, those involved in corruption um, to be held accountable. So that has been our, our portion as the ACDP in government. Uh, with regards to the state capture in, in, in South Africa, costing the economy anywhere between 500 billion and 1 trillion rand. Uh, and so clearly I think that, that the state that we are in uh, is as a result of uh, mismanagement um, and the poor policies uh, and decision making that has been uh, decision making been taken by uh, the ruling party. So that briefing then didn't increase the confidence of your president that this will be dealt with more decisively, better going forward? No, ab absolutely not. Look, Eskom has been a, a power station that won um, awards in 2001. The, the, the a world award being the, most, the cheapest uh, and the most efficient energy producer in the world. Um, in 2008, uh, Mr Mbeki was warned that uh, we are going to reach a stage where demand is going to exceed supply. Uh, he did not listen uh, to, the, to the warnings. Um, and so from 2008 to date, uh, we have now seen load shedding with last year being uh, over 200 days of load shedding in the year. The cost to the economy is enormous. Um, just a few companies such as uh, Fushini, uh, 400 million rand lost. Um, it, uh, uh, it is uh, checkers, ShopRite checkers, uh, some 100 million lost. Uh, lost. Um, we're looking at Vodacom, Vodacom indicating that they're having to spend some 1 billion rand uh, additional on, on batteries uh, just to meet, uh, meet the, uh, the, the, the needs of their customers. And so there's a huge, huge cost to the economy. The Bureau for, uh, for Economic Research has indicated, and the economist in South Africa has indicated that the hugest downsize risk, um, downside risk to the economy is Eskom. Um, no country, no economy can be built on where there is no security of energy. And right now, South Africa has no security of energy. Our debt to GDP currently sits at, at close on to 80%. Um, one of the largest contributors to uh, the largest budget items right now is, is the servicing of our debt. It is, it is above education, uh, the cost of education, the cost of healthcare, uh, so, social services, 
Um, and so this is untenable. Government is now looking at taking on Eskom's debt. Eskom has actually asked for an increase of 32% to NERSA. They've been granted 19%. That 19% increase is three times above the current inflation rate. It is untenable that South Africans have to bear the brunt of failed policies and a failed entity. Uh, clearly, I think that much needs to be done to turn this around. We yeah. cannot go the route of a... Uh, we call for the, the just energy transition. Ramaphosa is, again, borrowing money uh, to move to a just, a just energy transition. It's untenable and it's hypocritical because your European nations that are lending this money to South Africa, we've had a 580 odd percent increase uh, to the European Union uh, of coal, coal going to the European Union. And the European Union is saying to South Africa, you've got to shut down your coal powered fire stations while our coal goes, goes to yeah. Europe. It Mr. is Three. hypocritical. All right. Uh, what now is the final question? And we're running out of time. I mean, you are the Christian party. Parties are talking about protest action, marches, uh, lawsuits. What is the response you're going to take? Well, I think that the position of the ACDPS, as our president has indicated, this is a time for everybody to come together. Uh, this is a time when, where those who actually have the e expertise, irrespective of their color, it is black, white, uh, doesn't matter what the, what the color of your skin is. Um, it is those from all walks of life who have the business sector needs to come together. Um, your, your church groups, your, um, your, your, your politicians, the political groups, let's put aside our differences and let's fix the problem that Eskom currently has. The ANC has failed. It's now the opportunity for political parties like the ACDP uh, to come into play to, in to show what happens when those who have ethical leadership, righteous, righteousness and justice as, as, the, as the hallmarks of who we are, when, when you have that kind of leadership, uh, the change will be remarkable. All right. Thank you for your time, ACDP Deputy President Wayne Thring.